again adding a magnet to uh, to the to the pipe made everything work much better. And then we put um, then we just put a normal uh, guitar pickup in the other end so that we could both record from the pipe and uh, and send things back into the pipe. So it could work together with the with the strings. Um, and um, the problem with the pipe is that it has um, uh, what is it called? Like an inharmonic spectrum, and therefore it it fits together with the strings in a different way than two strings fits to each other. Uh, this one has a a perfect fourth above it. That tone as part of the bell sound, and so something that. We didn't really go deep into, but uh, which we experimented a bit with, and which is also something for the future to uh, to look more into, is how can we tune the overtones of a pipe to become like the strings, or tune the overtones of the string to become like a pipe. Uh, and that's again uh, the magnets are, are handy uh, because depending on where I put it. It adds weight to uh, to the to the pipe, so it, it has a different uh, weight distribution. Something we also talked before the uh, uh, before we even got started here. What does it mean for a human movement in the room if there would be if the body would have a different weight proportions? And what does it mean for a pipe to move when it is weight differently? You can hear the difference here. Depending on where it is, I can choose to tune the fundamental, and then the second overtone have its uh, its peak point a bit to the sides. So putting the magnets here, I can tune that overtone to a. Uh, to a, uh, a third, which is more similar to the string overtone. Compared to before. You hear the difference? Um, and that's what I try to do also with the strings, tuning them from a normal piano sound, kind of, uh, it's piano strings. And then adding tic-tac, uh, this, like what you put posters on the wall with, uh, to the center of the string. We make it more deep, but also makes the overtone spectrum really weird and a bit more bell-like, and adding them to the third harmonic changes the sounds again. Um, and exactly how much tic-tac in which positions, we didn't, <laughs> really, we didn't find out, but so for now it's a bit chaos patch, kind of. You add something, strange things happen, a little bit like the magnets here and here, and then for the rest, so we just have to find, find out what that makes in the space. Uh, there's also a lot of background noise, I think, because of the street working. <laughs>